Hey, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Travis Crane. I'm assistant coach at The Ohio State University. Uh, I'm really excited to kind of be a part of this coaching through cancellation. I uh, want to especially give a shout out to uh, Coach Shamadi and the Richmond Lacrosse staff for putting this together. Uh, I think it's a wonderful idea, and I'm really excited to, and honored to be a part of this. And so, you know, my thought today, um, obviously with, with coaching the defense, was to focus on footwork uh, and drills that we do pretty often in practice and kind of show you the progression of our approach work. And, you know, with simply, you know, two cones, uh, two, three at the max, this, these are drills you can do in your backyard. These are drills you can use in the open space. And you can really kind of cater them to um, different spots on the field. So the first one that we're going to talk about um, is going to be phase one from a stationary perspective. So this is going to be from a perspective of you kind of matched up on your man already. So the approach kind of, uh, you know, tracking with the ball, uh, that, that piece has kind of already occurred. So you're going to start by basically being in your stance at the cone in terms of defending a dodger. And so the first piece that we're going to focus on is what we call the kickback plus the drag. So the kind of the, the, the philosophy for us is we want to think of it as, you know, envision an offensive tackle being prepared to, def you know, guard uh, a defensive end on a rush, right? And so that's kind of our, our mindset for our guys. So with this kickback step, right, we're really going to be pushing off of that top foot, and we really want to drive that, that foot towards um, GLE back. And as we do that, then our top foot wants to drag with it. So we really don't want it to be a really strong back pedal. Um, we want to kick back off that top foot, you know, push back on that low foot, and then drag the top foot with it. So here will be an example of what that looks like. So again, as we're walking through it, right, really pushing off of that top foot, and then we're dragging with it as that near foot really drives back, okay? Again, we want to be what we call kind of square. Um, so we're going to be on a 45 angle with our hips kind of pointed towards that 40 in the high wings. And again, we can do two kickback plus drag steps, three, one. Right now, we're just trying to get the guys a feel with, with what it feels like. So again, we really want to get a strong push off that top foot. Here's a great example with Ryan. You know, for our poles, we want that bottom hand in their pocket and want our stick in front. Um, what we love about this drill is you can use everybody. Offensive midfielders, defensive midfielders, face-off guys, poles. Uh, so you can get a lot of touches in a, lot of, uh, in a short period of time in terms of footwork. Okay, so that next piece, once we kind of get through that kickback drag, right, then we want to work on that pivot. So that pivot wants to occur on our top foot, right? So our, our lead foot wants to get a strong push. And then we pivot our hips and turn. You know, I think you see a lot of guys flip their hips without driving off of their top foot. And so they don't have power on their pivot, right? So we want to gain power on our pivot by really pushing off of that top foot and then flipping our hips. Right, that top foot plants, we pivot, and then we drive, right? And so you'll see some really good examples of that. We'll see some examples where guys flip their hips before really driving off of that top foot. All right, nice example right there. All right, see how his hips turn before his foot planted? I right, got another example of that, right? This will be a much better example. Plant, push and drive, right? You want to plant, then pivot. Plant, then pivot, right? Again, he pivoted his hips before he planted, so he lost that power, right? But just simulating, right, you getting dodge, you kind of kicking back, him running down the alley, and you need to plant and get back to his hip. Okay, the third segment from just a stationary perspective, what we call swivels, right? So this would be like a combo dodge, right, or a double move, right? So a guy dodges, splits to the middle of the field, you defend it, and then he re-splits down the alley, right? You could also do this from an alley to a middle of the field perspective, right? We start with middle of the field to alley just so we have all defenders going away from each other so they don't run, run into each other. If you wanted to go alley to middle of the field, you just would need to stagger your whistle so it would go every other, just so the guys don't run into each other. But for now, you're going to see that exact same piece we were just talking about. However, now we get beat to the middle of the field, we got to work to get there, and then plan again off that top foot to get back down the alley. All right, so we kick back. All right, since he got us to the middle of the field, we got to kind of plan off of that lower foot right, before we get back to the middle of the field and then plant off our top foot to get back down the alley, right? So we'd call that, that lower foot kind of our trail foot. 
right? Really nice example there by Ryan, right? Again, all these examples aren't going to look always perfect, right? So we're working through it. It takes reps to kind of build that, right? Really nice example there in the high wing. All right, we really talk about we can't have our feet get outside of our hips, right? If you do that, that's when we're going to see guys kind of turn and fall. Right, really nice example there as we kind of flip those hips. Okay, so everything we've covered so far has just been from a stationary perspective, right? And, and we talk about it all the time. We, we try to slow it down first, you know, make sure you get comfortable with the movements before you speed it up, right? So the technique piece of making sure kind of you're driving off of that, that lead foot, right? You're pushing back with that trail, and then you're dragging with that lead or top foot, right? Slow that down to start. Right? Just kind of build that muscle memory before you speed it up. So once we've gone through a stationary perspective and kind of really built those habits, then we focus on our approach. So now we focus on our tracking the ball. Now we're going from inside out, going from protecting our paint to now going to play the ball and just adding that approach piece. So now everything's going to stay the same. We're still doing our kickback and drag into an alley dodge, but we're now we're going to add the approach. All right, so in this time we got four guys going. All right, we got offensive midfielders and our rope involved here. And again, really important, you'll see some of these guys, right, they're not getting a strong enough push off that top foot, so they can't be explosive, right? So it's really important, right, that we keep our butt down, our hips square, and we really drive off of that top foot when we plan to get down the alley. Great example, great example in our top right corner here with Ryan. All right, we talk about really as you kick back and drag, see how he kind of popped up? Our ceiling has to stay low. So it's really important once you approach, we kick back and drag, your ceiling stays low. All right, what you also notice as we do this drill is for some of the guys, they're so worried about their approach that they do it slow, right? They're worried about their footwork, so their approach is slow. We really stress in this drill, right, that approach has to be at full speed. Footwork piece, we could always slow that down. But the approach, going from inside out, has to be full speed. Right, you see a couple guys a little timid on their approach because they're worried about their footwork. Which all that says is they got to do more work from a stationary perspective, right, to build those habits before you add the approach in. So once we get to the approach, it's got to be full speed. Right, and again, you can get a lot of reps. We have them rotate lines each time. But again, you can just use two cones and just shift them on the spot of the field. Okay, again, we got that ropes of two going right now. And again, right, really nice job keeping that ceiling low there. All right, so again, just another time as I'm seeing that approach. Kick back, drag into the alley. So again, as we went through earlier, and just from a stationary perspective, now we're going swivels. So now we're going to approach into a kick back, drag, and we'll swivel the middle of the field into the alley. All right, really nice job there. Okay, as you notice right here, right, see how his hips are totally flipped to facing the sideline. This makes it really, really difficult to defend anything that gets to the middle of the field. All right, so again, we talk about being more square on a 45, right? So our hips really want to be facing like the numbers at the 40. His hips facing the sideline here, it's going to be really, really difficult for him to flip his hips on the swivel. Much better example here, okay? Hips are on a 45, right? Pad level low. Now we can kick back and swivel in either direction. Again, we really want to commit to assuming that guy is dodging in the middle field. So this is kind of cheating the drill here, right? All right. See how his head turns, but his hips now really get there. We got to really work on flipping and then swiveling back. And again, as you notice, we're doing this from the wings as well with our close defenders.
right? We can't cheat the drill, all right? So we want to focus on this, so we're getting live reps as if we're getting dodged in the game. All right, really nice job there. Again, building through it. Again, right, got to commit to that flip to the middle of the field. So now do the exact same thing from the other side. Right, so you're building those reps on each side of the field. Again, we go back to this, right, the difference being on his approach, right, you see how his foot is one in front of the other, right, this means his hips are facing the sideline, it's going to make it almost impossible for him to swivel here and push off of, right, we call this trail foot to get to the middle of the field. All right, much better. Good turn. All right, a few more. Good flip. All right, we swivel back. Okay. Now the final piece, right? And this is probably the most advanced one that we're going to show today. All right? It's the swivel, which we just went over. But now, as you notice, right, when you defend people really well and they get down the alley, right, and they're unable to get a shot, You'll see a lot of like those secondary dodges, right? So whether it's a step off and a re-dodge, or we call a deep rollback, where he's going to put his foot in the ground and plant and work hard to get to the middle of the field. All right, so now we're going to work on defending that initial dodge, and then if we defend it perfectly, uh, perfectly, now we got to worry about that second deep rollback, you know, deep down the alley. All right, so this is where we add that kind of third, third cone, third or fourth cone. All right, so this is where we need to plant off our trail foot, get our hip turned to roll a guy back down the alley where we want to support him. Uh, we really talk about when you're turning, guys, it's got to be your hips first. Your hips lead your hands. So I'm coming back. My right hip's got to lead my hand to turn this guy. And guys, just focus on those hands or those rips. That's when we get caught with holds. All right, drive down, plant, turn him. Again, really didn't get that kickback drag, right, which means we need to spend more time on that initial piece. Plant, push. Uh, that last piece, we could have turned him better, right, with a better push off that top foot. Coming down, right, really nice job there, okay? So that's kind of the conclusion of our film today, right? I'm hopeful that you can take these pieces in terms of your footwork and approach and really st spend time on developing that, you know? If you can defend the ball, it tremendously helps our sliders in terms of reading you and supporting you. So for us, we spend a lot of time really working on our feet first. You know, so we talk about our feet win the matchup, right? Our hands and our fists will then drive him off the dodge, and then our stick will finish it. But you got to start by winning the matchup with our feet, and hopefully this approach work was really beneficial for you from that perspective. All right, thank you. Have a great day. Go Bucks.